Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am deeply inspired by this new lipstick that I ordered from myself. This is from Dior and it's called Lady Dior. It's this beautiful purpley fuchsia shade and that is today's centerpiece. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So as many of you may know, I'm a makeup artist and also esthetician, and I now have this online beauty consulting service, which is where you get to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, and you get to ask me any makeup or beauty concern you might have, whether you wanna go over the products you already own, or if you want some advice on purchasing new items, but you don't want that like added sales pressure, the benefit of my service is I work for myself, I don't work for any brand, so I'll just give you my best advice. So to make the appointment, click the link in the description box down below. All right, so this Lady Dior lipstick is very much like purpley pink, a hot fuchsia. So I think today's look, I am definitely going to pull more towards the pinky, plummy nature of colors. I'm gonna to lean more towards those tones. And to start off, I'm gonna do something for my lips. I'm gonna go into a lip oil. I'm going into my Dior lip oil in ultra pink. I love this stuff. It's definitely more thick and glossy than the Maximizer, but this here does not have that minty tingling sensation. I know that the Maximizer isn't for everyone, because it does have that tingly effect, the oil does not. And after a few seconds, the lip oil will actually start to stain my lips a bit, so make them more pink. Now I'm testing out this new sunscreen and I'm not sure I love it. It's this like tinted mineral sunscreen from Kiehl's and I didn't even realize it was tinted until I tried it on and it's supposed to be this universal color, but I don't know, I feel like I look like I have like a white cast on my face here, I brought it down a little bit too, but I'm on this like a sunscreen expedition at the moment and I'm not sure a tinted moisturizer is for me. Now, since my lip is going to be pretty intense, I'm going to do my eye makeup pretty subtly. Like I'm not gonna do like a big smoky eye or anything, but I'm going to try to stay cool toned as well. I'm going into my Dior Show Mono Single here in Minimalism. This is like a slate gray. So I'm using a rougher brush. This is the brush 15. All the brushes will be listed in the description box down below. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the crease here. And if some of this gets on the lid, it's really not that big of a deal. I bought this Lady Dior lipstick online i'm not even sure what happened i was just like you know when you're in the mood to try something new and i saw this lip color and i was thinking am i the type of person who wears this am i the type of person who wears like a purple red lipstick or a purple lipstick i think we are about to find out because it looks absolutely beautiful in the tube and it's also supposed to have a slight metallic finish the swatches that i've done just look more of like a satiny finish so we shall see now i'm going into a second shadow here from Dior. this one is called front row and i'm using a separate brush this is the refer 13 and it's a little bit more tapered and this here i'm just going to place in the socket just to add a little bit more depth I just want a little bit of definition to my eye, but again, I'm trying to rein in my extra gene here because I can definitely go overboard and I'm trying to control that a little bit today, just for today. And then I'm just taking whatever's left on here onto the bottom lashes. It's not even adding that much color. It's just to say that we're mixing or marrying the colors together. So last week in a video, I did something similar to this, but I went more orange and it was absolutely beautiful. And I made sure to match my lipstick to my nail polish. And a lot of you noticed and appreciated. So today in advance, I did change my nail polish to hopefully match the makeup look for today's video. 
Okay, so I have this single sparkle eyeshadow here from Bobbi Brown in Silver Lilac. It's very pretty, and I'm tempted to apply it right away. But what I'll do is I'll do my look, and then I'll see if it's missing anything. And then if it's missing a little sparkle, I'll add some, because it's really hard to remove sparkle eyeshadow. So I'm raining it in just a little bit. It's so funny that this lipstick is called Lady Dior because I don't know about you, but sometimes I fall into these um, spirals, I guess, here on YouTube and I go down these rabbit holes and channels like these luxury handbag channels. Like there's a whole world. Like I know like I'm in the luxury beauty realm, but there's like a whole other realm of like luxury bags and leather goods like wallets and bags and purses and all those things, key holders. There's like a whole world and community of people who post videos like that. And so when I bought this Lady Dior lipstick, it made me think of those channels. And I fell deep into a rabbit hole watching Sophie Shohat, I think her name is. I might be mispronouncing it, but she does, like she's in London and she does reviews on luxury bags. And she always do does videos saying like, don't buy these bags, don't invest in this, don't invest in that. And I love also Jerusha Couture. I've been watching her for years. She's in Australia and I've been watching her for years as well. And she also does like reviews on bags and wallets, like which ones to buy, what not to buy. And it's so funny because I get sucked into these videos and I'm like, that makes sense. Even though I have absolutely no intention of buying these like super expensive like Hermes, Chanel, Dior bags. I mean, the realm that I'm in with all the makeup and perfume and brushes that I buy, honestly, if I didn't have this channel, if I didn't have my collection of beauty, I could have easily bought a Lady Dior. Yeah, I could have bought wallets. I could have bought key holders. I could have bought bags. I guess you just like pick your poison, you know? Isn't that wild? You know, I hadn't even like thought of it, but I definitely could have bought a bag by now if I wasn't buying all this makeup. But now that I'm in the makeup, I don't think I wanna buy the bags. Like, I don't know, unless you wanna spend all your money, I feel like you have to like pick one or the other because even the girls that I watch, like the luxury handbag community, they don't necessarily always buy luxury makeup. You know, sometimes they'll throw something from like the drugstore or something. So maybe we all have like our little thing that we want to spend our money on. So to finish the eyes, I'm going into the Chanel Stylo Yeux and then I'm going into my Chantecaille Fossil Longest Lash Mascara. When I drew my line on the top, I took a pencil brush, the Refer 03, and I just smudged it out a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same on the bottom lash line here just to add a little bit of darker color to kind of give me that like Bambi doe eye. But anyway, give this video a like if you've ever fallen into these like YouTube niche community like spirals. All of a sudden you watch like seven videos and you're like, I was supposed to make dinner, oops. Another person that I really like is Minx For All. Although I think she took a break from YouTube recently. I follow her on Instagram and she's posting there, but she hasn't really posted any videos uh, this year, but I don't know what it is about these like luxury handbag videos. Like, I have no intention of buying any of them, but I have so much information in my head of like, if one day I decide to buy a very expensive luxury purse, I will have all this knowledge about them in, stored in my brain. Let's move on to the foundation and let's go into something very classic. I'm going into my Luminous Silk in the shade 5.5. And the sponge here is BK Beauty and it's fitting because it's also very pink and purple like today's makeup look. It doesn't look like it yet, it's getting there. And then for the concealer, I'm going into something different. Shocking, I know. I'm going into my NARS mini concealer here in the shade Medium One Custard. Now we just let this sit for a minute. What's funny is I've been watching Jerusha Couture since before I had my own YouTube channel or around the same time I somehow discovered her 
And fun fact, the reason that I have this shelving unit behind me is because in Jerusha's videos, she has shelves like these, I think also from Ikea or something. And I was like, well, Jerusha has them, I should get them too. Although mine is full of like makeup and candles and beauty items and hers is full of like uh, shoes and bags and etc. Jerusha usually does vlogs, but she hasn't been doing any. I know that her and her husband are in the restaurant business and they owned like coffee shops and things like that but she hasn't been vlogging that much since the pandemic i don't know if it's just like harder to do so i know for myself personally like i don't vlog that much but even like once the pandemic started i didn't really feel like vlogging i don't know i just didn't feel like going out in public and vlogging as much like just even being outside around people but i know she's in australia and i think things are getting better there she's still uploading videos just not like the regular like vlog style okay let's give this a little blend now for the blush i'm going into my sicily blush stick in fuchsia i love this zebra black and white with the hot pink i think it's definitely the vibe of today's video I'm going into my BK Beauty Brush 108 and I'm just going to sweep into this here and add a little bit of pink. I may in fact use two blushes today just to layer and satisfy my extra need. So we have a little bit of pink fuchsia action. I'm going in with the cream first and then I'm going to layer a powder over top. Now I'm going into this beautiful By Terry palette here, and this is the Brightening CC palette in Beach Balm. I'm going to use this beautiful cool toned blush here. Now I'm going into the bronzer shade, just a little bit to add a bit of color, and I'm using my refer brush number four. And now let's finish this off with the highlighter and I'm going into my rougher brush number 18. All right, time for the moment of truth. Let's go into Lady Dior. I took off the lip oil so we can test the true texture of this lipstick here. Okay, so this Lady Dior is supposed to have a metallic finish, but I see it more as a high shine satin finish. It feels like a regular satin bullet lipstick. Oftentimes metallic finish feels grainy or glittery. This does not have that texture whatsoever. It's really lovely. It's very shiny. It definitely gives me like fuchsia, purple, pink vibes. It's a really fun color, and I think I did a pretty good job of matching my nails to my lips today. So for the nail polish, I used a Chanel nail polish. Unfortunately, I think this one in particular is discontinued. It's called Desirio, and it was a few years ago. It's number 643 Desirio. It came out several years ago. So this one, if you have it, would be a good match. But otherwise, I think that this Chanel Energy, which came out I think last year or the year before, would be pretty similar to it. You kind of want something that's going to hit the purple and pink at the same time. I have like the Dior Bonheur, which I love, but I think is much more pink than anything else. So I think energy would be close here but if you could find a nail polish that hits that like fuchsia pink purple vibe with a hint of shimmer to it i think dior had one that was called front row i could be wrong but i think that one had like a little shift in it and i think that shift would match the finish here if you're looking to be very extra and overboard, which you might be if you're watching this channel, if you like to match your lipstick with your nail polish, which apparently a lot of you do, so I'm happy you appreciate that. Now, revisiting the Bobbi Brown Glitter Shadow, I think I'm going to not use it. I don't know, I love this color. I love these sparkle shadows, but I kind of like this look here. Like the look is very simple on the eyes and then this beautiful bold lip and I love this bright color with the green. It's kind of like color blocking. So 
I'm gonna stick with this. Now I'm going to set my makeup with a bit of this Clarins uh, makeup setting spray. It's part of the summer release. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on. Normally I would do my mascara afterwards, but it's been several minutes since I've done my mascara, so it's completely dry. So if you put on your mascara, wait a really long time, or do the mascara after the setting spray. And then as a last touch, let's go into fragrance. So I'm choosing this Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Flora Cherisia. Now this is an eau de toilette. It's very floral, sweet, powdery. It's pink, it's girly, it's feminine. It's giving me this whole pink vibe here. There's a bit of watermelon. I think there's some violet some rose, some pear. It's a really lovely, fresh, very feminine fragrance. So that is today's perfume. All right, this is the finished look with fragrance and with matching lips to nails. Let us know in the comments if you know of a nail polish that you think would better suit this or if you have one in particular that you think would match this lipstick very nicely, let us know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. I definitely like it. I do love the orange look. I mean, orange looks really great on me and it's such a good summer look. But this one here is also really fun, especially with the hair pulled up and with the emerald green color. I think it's a nice combination. I hope you got some inspiration because the only thing new to me here is this Dior lipstick. Everything else I've owned for like a, a minute. And so I hope I gave you some inspiration on how to use up what you already have and maybe some color combinations to use at home. Let me know in the comments what you think of today's video and if you would like to see other looks like this. If you have any colors in particular you want me to use in the future, let me know. If you're new to my channel, please take the time to subscribe and you can also hit the notification bell on the side so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So on that note, I think this is it for today. This is all I have for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!